hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 32. The international break is nearly over, except for maybe one or two free games to go uh, for certain uh, international teams. Um, but as I said, Premier League's back this weekend, so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to try to predict, and you can see it behind me, is Fulham vs Manchester City. Now Fulham are ever so looking like they're going to get relegated um, this season. Um, you know, I want to ask Fulham fans, did Claudio Ranieri do the job that you really thought he was going to do? Um, no disrespect to uh, Leicester or Claudio Radieri, or, you know, anyone involved at Leicester Football Club. Um, but what I think he done was a fluke. Um, you know, it's one in a lifetime. I'm not going to say it's never going to happen again, never say never, but it is very unlikely that it will. Um, going up against an OK Manchester City side. Now, Manchester, Manchester City have got to win... Um, to keep the pressure on Liverpool and they have still got a game in hand. Um, you know, whether that's in in the next couple of weeks, we'll have to wait and see. Um obviously, you know, but Manchester City do have to keep on winning just to keep the pressure on Liverpool. There's no good them losing a game and then trying to keep it because then Liverpool could just run away with the title. Um but as that as this game goes, I'm gonna Predict it for Manchester City win. I don't got to predict it 3 0 Manchester City win. The next one is South ha uh, Brighton versus Southampton at the American Express Reality Stadium. Brighton reaching the FA Cup semi final since 1983. Um, you know, going up against an okay Southampton side, back on the bright side for a bit. I beat Palace for the first time since 1984, I believe, 94, 93. Um, 84, 83, sorry. Doing the double over their rivals, Crystal Palace. Um, and, you know, coming into this, hope on a good run of form. Um, you know, every game's different. Southampton are doing okay. I think they will stay up. But they are going to have to pick up points. Uh, to stay up as same as everyone. Um, but I'm going to predict Brighton to win this one and I'm going to predict 2 1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Burnley versus Wolverhampton. Um, Wolverhampton yet again reaching the FA Cup semi final as you know, same as Brian for the first time in a long time. Um, can't quite remember the year, uh, the last time they did it, but congratulations to Wolves. Congratulations to Watford, congratulations to Brighton, you know, three teams that if you said at the beginning of the FA Cup might not have been in the semi-final, but they are. Uh, for your information there, uh, semi-finals is Bulls versus Watford, Manchester City versus Brighton, um, both being played next weekend. Um, but back to this fixture. Um, Burnley are doing okay. Um, whether they're going to stay up or not, I'm still not 100% sure. I think Europe really did cost them this season. Um, you know, as well as Wolves, you know, we're 100% safe now. I'll guarantee that. But we're going to want to go out there and try and hit uh, Burnley to get confidence for that FA Cup game. But I'm going to predict a draw for this one. And I'm going to predict a one-all scoreline for that one. I'm just expecting Wolves to be a bit, bit focused on Wembley more than this game itself. The next game is Crystal Palace versus Huddersfield. Um, you know, Huddersfield are ever so look, looking likely to, to be relegated. Going up against an OK Crystal Palace side. Um... You know, with Palace losing to Brighton and then coming going into the international break of a poor one of four. This is where Huddersfield are going to need to pounce. 
if they want any chance of getting out of that relegation uh, scrap. Even though I do think if they do pick three points up against this in this game, it still won't be enough. Um, but as the result goes, I'm going to predict this. I'm going to give Huddersfield a point for this one. And I'm going to predict a nil-nil scoreline. I'm expecting a very boring game. Purely because Palace are low in confidence. The next one is Leicester versus Bournemouth. Um, you know, Leicester doing okay. Um, you know, compared to what's happened this season. Um, you know, sacking their manager, Brendan Rodgers in charge. And all that, you know, it's took its toll bit really this year on Leicester, I personally do think. Going up against a sort of 50-50 Bournemouth side. Um, you know, with Bournemouth in there, uh, you know, you never know what Bournemouth you're going to get. Uh, that's being brutally honest. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to predict a draw. And I'm going to predict a 2-2 scoreline for that one. So expect a few goals in that game. Um, the next one... Is Manchester United versus Watford? Um, Anagar Solskjaer doing okay at Man United. Does he deserve the full time job? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and also follow my social media uh, down below in the description. That way you get to see what I'm doing off camera as well as on it. And um, you know, you get to know when I'm watching certain football matches and stuff like that. And I do point out a few interesting factors. Especially on my Facebook and uh, Twitter, only trouble is with Instagram, it is hard to do because you have to post a photo every time, but do feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. Um, Man United in Watford, my dark horse is Watford, as I've called them this season, and I will do to the end of this season. Um, you know, I, 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 think that, I think Watford will go in this bit of confidence, purely because they're in the FA Cup semi-final. But I'm going to predict this one for the red side of Manchester and I'm going to predict a 3-1 scoreline for that one the next one is West Ham versus Everton um, you know West Ham Pellegrini doing an amazing job you know got a good team there um, but it's Everton less to do so um, Theo Wilcock great player and going to take nothing away from him um, but, yet again, I'm going to predict this one to be a draw. I'm not going to beat around the bush with this one. I'm going to predict a nil-nil scoreline for that one. The next one is Chelsea versus Cardiff. Or Cardiff versus Chelsea, I should say. Should say, sorry. Um, you know, Chelsea on a poor run of form. Um, really struggling to get going. Losing to Everton. Uh, prior to the international break, um, you know, Cardiff are going to need the points to stay up. They are currently sitting in that relegation scrap. Um, which way do I go? This, this is a tough one because the poor run of form that Chelsea's in, but I know Cardiff can play on their day as well. And I know I've got a few of your Cardiff fans, uh, you know, what you know, got gets time to write comments to me and I do appreciate it uh, every comment I do get and I do try and get through them. Um, I'm going to predict to draw. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. I'm going to predict a one-all scoreline as well. Sorry uh, Chelsea fans and uh, maybe sorry Cardiff fans might be happy with a point. I know I would be. Um, the next one, now I'll go switch this around, is Arsenal versus Newcastle. Arsenal are in Dubai as I'm speaking. I got a friendly over there. All the first team players are over there. Um, you know, it's it's something I would do personally as a manager or a chairman. But, you know, apparently it's to get warm over training. Uh, I don't really believe in that, but Let's see if it works. I reckon it's going to cost Arsenal this game. I really do. So I'm going to predict a 1-0 Newcastle win. Uh, you know, put a spanner in the works there. The last one for this weekend. 
um, is Liverpool versus uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham got their new ground. Um, they played their first event trying to get a safety certificate. There's two safety certificates. I think they passed one. Just need to pass one more event. And then their first game at their new ground will be against Crystal Palace on the 3rd of April. How did you hear for Tottenham? Um, you know, waiting a long time. I never, even when they said they're going to get it done within a year, yeah, I found that very impossible um, to do. Took them about two and a half years, I think, overall. I might be wrong, Tottenham fans, if I can put it down in the comments below. Um, but, yeah, they've got their new ground. Um, I've seen it. Um, you know, I've got mixed reactions. Hopefully, I'll be going uh, there very soon. But, we'll have to wait and see for that one. Now, on the Liverpool end, have to keep the pressure on City. They have to go in to win this game, no matter which way Manchester City game goes. So, for this one, I'm going to predict a draw, and I'm going to predict a 2-2 scoreline for that one. So, guys, this is my end of my Premier League predictions for week 30, 32, 32, 31, somewhere around there. <laughs> um, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.